You're now ready for X-type problems. Let's go back to our discussion about women's heights. Women's heights were found to be normally distributed with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 2, and this is a, a depiction of the distribution. We talked about how the number 64 represents the mean, and we could relate all the other numbers to the mean rather than uh, speaking of the actual values of 66, 68, 62, 60, and so on. The way we did that is we said, let's say 64 is um, the mean, and 66 would be considered one standard deviation above the mean. So we could use the symbol, the number, plus 1 to denote 66. Similarly, 68 is two standard deviations above the mean. Why don't we represent that by positive 2? 70 is three standard deviations above the mean, so we can represent that by positive 3. And we'll let 64 be the center, or 0. 62 would be one standard deviation below the mean. 60 is two standard deviations below, and 58 is 3. So rather than speaking of the values themselves, I would like to speak about the relative distance they are from the mean, because that's more information for me. So what essentially we're getting at is standardizing. How do I get from here to here without actually having to draw it? Or think about the... Um, the distribution as I have here.